Hi, I'm Oliver Clayton. This is my presentation on my horror script called The Familiar Shadow Man. Design the logo. My script presentation, my lunch as well. Right. The script is called Familiar Shadow Man. It's a psychological horror, which is a type of horror like Lights Out, that style of horror. A lot of inspiration came from the film The Babadook. When I was writing it, I realised the film bears a lot of similarities to the movie The Babadook, like the two main characters, the sort of creature, like that sort of design, it sort of had like a lot similar. I didn't realise it until I was actually making it. My mate was like, it's a bit like The Babadook, and I was like, should I watch it? Watched it, realised, yeah, it's similar. Log line, it's a mother and a son of an ordinary life until a shadow man comes and comes to get the kid. That's basically it. So horror, it's gonna be a lot of jump scares, traditional horror fare, a lot of tropes of traditional horror. This is the story, act one, the boy and the mother live normal, they have a normal life, everyday life, single mother, father's nowhere to be seen. Then the shadow man appears, which is this creature. You don't see it in the first act, you only see it until act three. It's only noises and sounds in act one. Jonathan calls to his mother, that sequence happens, Elizabeth comes to his aid to try and help him. Next, act two. The Shadow Man appears once again, spooks him again through a few consecutive nights. It's a bit of horror tropes, jump scares, noises, lights, sounds, lights flickering off, lamps going out, lights flickering, traditional horror types. Act three. Elizabeth has to leave Jonathan as she has a family emergency as a, as a sister's in hospital. Jonathan's left alone for two hours. This is when the Shadow Man fully comes out. We see him in the flesh, his shadowy figure, tries to get Jonathan. They have a, they have a tussle, ends with Jonathan defeating the Shadow Man. The two characters are Jonathan Hay and Elizabeth Hay. Jonathan Hay is the main character, Elizabeth Hay is the side character. Jonathan Hay is the power of truth. He wants to find out what is this creature. He doesn't know what it is, all he knows is it's coming for him. He doesn't know where it is, doesn't know what it is. He can hear it, you can only see it in Act 3. He's still in schools, his costume will be your traditional child school fair, maybe a shirt and a tie, maybe a blazer, maybe a primary school jumper, you know, traditional high school, primary school stuff. Black pants, pumps, shoes, that style of stuff. In a way, usual clothes at home. He will, his story arc will go from being the scared boy until he can conquer his fear and defeat the Shadow Man, which is in the climactic Act 3, which was difficult to do. Next is Elizabeth. Hers is the power of love. She has the power to hold on to Jonathan. She needs to keep him young, like a mud bird leaving the nest of his mother. Elizabeth wants to make sure Jonathan is alright, so she has to help him out. Her story arc goes from being this overbearing mother to being this, she lets him go as she goes to deal with a family emergency and tries to let Jonathan face it for himself. Next is the Shadow Man. The Shadow Man himself was a lot of things. He came from the Slender Man, he came from the Holocaust from the movie Miss Peregrine's Home, he came from, and specifically he came from one sequence in the film Conjuring 2, which is this little sequence here, if it's going to play. This little sequence here is in Act 2 Conjuring 2. Just this little sequence here, this, this 10 second thing gave me a lot of inspiration because it's superbly done, it looks scary. I love it, I love the sequence, it got me a lot of ideas for it. This style of my actors to play up, this style of lighting, this style of shots, this type of stuff. It's the dolly, the dolly zoom, the slow mo, the slow dolly zoom, the slow pulls, the effects, that style of stuff. That is where I got the idea from, that little one sequence there gave me a lot of inspiration for this, I love that one sequence and that will power my final act to look. The practical effects of the Shadow Man, I want like either a black morph suit or maybe a design morph suit with long fingernails, that style of stuff. You can put it onto a green screen, and project it on via a projector to make it look even cooler. You can have a projection of just the shadow, you can have a, the man himself, or you can have a costume, whichever way you want. That's the kind of design I'm looking for, but it can be projected on through a projector, it can be designed through, it can be even CG through. Any way you want it, green screen, costume, anywhere, it would work as long as it looks scary enough. But I think the idea of a projector works really well as it can project it onto the walls and stuff. The universal theme is man versus himself, the boy versus the monster. The idea came from brainstorming, just general brainstorming ideas. I thought of a room, thought of what could be in the room, and that's where it came from. The look and style. The location of the scene would be it's all interior interior house, interior kitchen, spare room, main room, bedroom, Jonathan's room, bathrooms, lower hallways, and landing. All of it would be house lights, key lights, backlights, fill lights. You want to have a house light that looks natural, you want it to look normal, you want your house to look, wants to fit. So when you look at a house, it doesn't look all dark until the last act where I want it to be traditionally kind of dark with just backlight and a few bits of a few side lights. 
a house, like this traditional suburban house in the UK, so you've got your walk in your front door, you've got your room there, you walk through, you've got a kitchen and you've got a set of stairs that leads up to three bedrooms and a landing. Traditional house, you can film this in a studio or a student house or my house or anyone's house. Each house would work in its own way, but it has to look like it fit. You can build the set itself, you can build a bedroom, you can build the front room or the landing. Like I said, makeup and costume. Like I said, morph suits are really cool and they would work pretty well for a projector, or you can design it yourself. If you get a morph suit and a green screen, you can then put it onto a projector. You can project it onto a wall and create an actual shadow itself. Make the shadow bigger to make it look bigger, make it look smaller, make it look giant, make it fit some walls. That works awesome. Or you can CG it in, which looks pretty shit, if I'm pretty bad. Excuse me, French. But these look great. You can do that any way you want to do it, but it looks pretty cool for a morph suit. Lamp, lights would be lamps, traditional lamps, key lights, backlights, fill lights, all practical stuff. Interior design, interior and exterior, there's no exterior. Lights, like I said, house lights, lamp lights, horror. The style, I don't want found footage. A lot of horror is dumbed down to found footage, where it's a person holding a camera, running around. No, it looks awful. I want a film that looks more like James Wan, Lights Out, Conjuring, con um, let's think of the one. The Babadook, that style of horror where it's sort of cinematic but it sort of looks realistic enough to fool you. That sort of style with that, those sort of lights and that sort of thing. Any questions about my familiar Shadow Man? Yes. How young is your kid, your child, because is that going to be practical enough as you will have to go through a lot of... Yeah, there's a lot of rigmarole for casting kids, which I know it would either be lower year high school, so year seven, or high primary school, year six, so either age 10 to about the age of 14, anything would work in that range. Any other questions? Yeah? Uh, what, uh, you're getting morph suits, so do you have a uh, price range or are you Morph from? suits you can buy off eBay, Amazon, anywhere you can buy them from six pounds to 60 pounds, depends on what type of morph suit you want. You can customise it yourself through costume department with clothes on top of them or clothes out and you can fully customise them. Any other questions? What inspired you to get this idea? Brainstorming. The whole idea came through me thinking of a location to build a script for bedroom. So I was in the room at the time and I thought, what could be in a room? I saw my shadow and I was like, okay, there's a monster, there's a shadow. Then there's a thing, then there's a thing, and I just worked from there and built it up. That's it.